The next step is to determine the relative frequency. This is the percentage of people that fall into each category. To do this, we first have to determine the sample size, which is the sum of the absolute frequency. There are 14 people in the first group, 12 in the second group, 8 in the third group, 6 in the fourth group, and 10 in the final and fifth group. We use the summation notation to add these together for a total of 50. This is the sample size. To determine the relative frequency, we take the first group, 14, and divide it by the sample size. 14 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.28. In other words, 28% of the, the total group sample was between ages 17 and 26. For the next category or cell, an absolute frequency of 12 people, we take 12 people divided by the total sample size of 50, and this gives us a percentage or a decimal of 0 0.24, 24%. That represents the relative frequency of that particular cell. For the third group, we have 8 people, which represents 8 divided by 50, equal to 0 0.16, or 16% of the total. For the fourth group, we have six people, which represent 12%, 0 0.12, or 12% of the total. Finally, we have 10 people between the ages of 57 and 66, and they represent 0 0.20, or 20% of the total. Note that the sum of the relative frequency category, 0 0.28 plus 0 0.24 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.20 is equal to 1. 